Hi, welcome to MithunaShok.com. This is MithunaShok here. In this video, I would be explaining as to how to install 10G Release 2 Windows 32-bit version on Windows 7 64-bit. If you look at the dump that I have here, right? The dump that I have here is Windows 32-bit version 10G Release 2. And let me show you my operating system. It is Windows 7 Home Basic version and the system type is 64-bit. There's a misconception saying that if you have a 32-bit software, it does not get installed on Windows 7. No, it is not. Even if you have a 64-bit version, you would end up with the same error. Right? Let me just show you how to work with this. This is my dump. Let me try to start the setup. It usually takes 20 to 30 seconds to give you the next screen. Let us wait for that. So let me just give in the password for this now, then click on next. Okay, the password does not match. Let me re-enter the password again. Hopefully it's right now. Okay. Okay, if you see this error, abnormal program termination, abnormal and internal error has occurred. Please provide the following files to Oracle support. Unknown, unknown, unknown. This is a common error. It's a known error, right? Let me just click okay right and then come back to the screen once you get to this program compatibility assistant either you click on reinstall using recommended set settings or just click on cancel and then go back to properties right click on setup go back to properties go to your compatibility and choose run this program either in windows xp or windows 98 or me it's one and the same right so i'm just let me just click OK and then right click on this and then make sure that right, you right click and then click on run as administrator. Right. This is very important. First thing that you'll have to remember is the compatibility and the second thing is run as administrator. If you don't select this in between, you might see that the entire installation window, you know, just vanishes. So let me see if it goes through this time. Let me enter the password again. Click on next. Hopefully we should not get into any error this time. If you notice it is taking a little while or little more than the time it took last time. And then if you see that it has already proceeded, right? So here, don't worry, whatever error you see, you just click on next and then select yes. We just have to sit and relax for some more time. And then if you see, it takes about 696 MB and 44 MB of temporary memory and the installation directory that I'm choosing here. So we are actually good to go at this point. Let me click on install. And sit down, have a packet of chips or a Pepsi and then relax until the installation gets over. It would take probably up to around 15 to 20 minutes to complete the installation. Sit back and just relax. The screen then it means that you have waited long enough and then the system has actually completed installing Oracle 10G database. I would have edited and then there were multiple screens. I have taken out all of them, right? Once you sit back and relax, you have to wait for the screen to appear. Once you get the screen, then it means that you are done with your installation. So let me click on this password management once, right? All the accounts except the ones that you see a uh, tick mark on are locked. In case if you are planning to work with the Scott schema, right, Scott user, then you should definitely go back and then, you know, unlock this account. If you see a tick mark, then it means that the account is locked. Let me unlock it by checking this account. 
right you have to do do this or else the account would be in locked state i just unticked it so i can directly go and start using scott schema once the database gets installed let me just click on okay okay again i just have to wait for another screen and then it says your database configuration files have been installed in this particular place configuration files sqi sql star plus url and then the dba url right so you will have all this information in this last screen let me just click on exit to exit my installation so we are done with the installation and then good to go and start using oracle sql star plus You just have to wait for this and then this would by default install internet access for SQL, ISQL star plus. Let me show you what exactly you will have to do to access SQL star plus. Go to the installation directory, Oracle 10G database home, application development, right click on SQL star plus and then click on properties. In your properties, go to compatibility tab. In this compatibility tab, run this program either as Windows XP or Windows 98 or ME. It's one and the same. Choose one of them apart from Windows 7. Click on OK. Right. Let me just go back again. Go select SQL Star Plus. First time when I run, don't forget to run this as administrator. Run this as administrator. Let me enter Scott username. Scott's default password is Tiger, T-I-G-E-R. Press enter. It will ask you to re-enter the password, change the password because since you are logging in for the first time, you have to change the password. Let me just change the password, give a new password. Click OK. If you see, I have got the screen, SQL prompt. I can go ahead and then, you know, start executing my select queries it's done so it's it's kind of very easy to install windows uh, you know oracle 10g on windows 7 so for more information on more videos on Oracle or any other information or products on Oracle testing, SQL and PLSQL, please log into my site, mithunashok.com. Thank you.